all right today we are going to solve manpower planning problem through excel solver before we start our work we need to download the files for that you need to go to nabi.weebly.com there you see ms 460 google drive link if you click that uh, it will take us to the google drive link in the lab file we have a folder called manpower planning there you can see the template of manpower and the manpower planning problem I have already downloaded that in the desktop there you go so these are our manpower problems so we have a three we have three problems and we have a template So uh, if you go through the problem one, you can see that the, the several information are given. We will populate that and start work. So we have our human resource requirement for every day, 17. And we have an indication that if someone start work at Monday that person needs to work for five days everyone should start work for five days so if someone is start work for working at Monday then that person will work Monday till Friday Saturday and Sunday off so we have to fill up this grid Tuesday beginning so five days from Tuesday and other two are blank five days from Wednesday two off five days from Thursday five days from Friday five days from Saturday and five days from Sunday now we have to figure out how many people need to start work at Monday we don't need know that so we put some arbitrary value here Now, in order to find out the number working, we have to use some product. Some product, our array of number is starting. I need to, after that, I, have to, I need to hit F4. It will make it constant. So, $A, $5 to $A, $11, comma, C5, C11. And I drag this total number of employees summation of all the people who are working that's it the model is fixed now we start solving it we have to make sure the total number of employees is minimum by changing our values and we add constants the first constant is the total number of employees these cannot be fractions we have to have an integer constant then we have our second constant which is number working should be greater than or equal to number needed that's our two regular constants given in the question and we have a non-negative constraint using the simple help if we solve we will see the total number of employees will be 20 there is 
there are multiple solutions to this problem so these number can vary but the total employee would be 20 so as soon as it's 20 we don't worry about this as soon as it's 20 we have a solution For the problem 2, we'll use the same info as the problem 1. So we just populate this and populate this area. Now, I assume that these two are our weekend so the person who is working at Monday the person should have two weekends off the person who is a third worker Tuesday that person should have one weekend day off Wednesday will receive zero and Saturday will also receive zero Sunday will have one weekend day off We don't know these values, so we put some arbitrary value here. Number walking, that is our sum product of B5, B11. I hit F4, D5, D11. Then I drag those total weekend off is some product of A5 A11 and B5 B11 and total employee equals summation of that arbitrary values. Now as my model is fixed, I'm going to solve it. I hit solver. This time our objective is to make sure our number of weekends maximum. So A3 max by changing variable B5, B11. We add the constant. The first constant is we have 22 employees. So B3 equals 22. Our changing variable B5, B11 would be integer and number working should be greater than equal number needed. So we add three constant, we have a non-negative constant as well. Using simple XLP, we solve it. That's our solution. So given the scenario, we can at max have 23 we can solve so we have solved the problem problem 2 now we have a problem 3 so have a look into this we'll solve it so for the problem 3 we have shifts and we have time slots for example we have the operator number needed midnight to 4 we have 12 needed a, a 4 am 8 am we need 16 then we need 22 in our next slot 30 31 22 The person who is starting work at 12 a.m. that person needs to work for six hours. Then the next slot six hours, six hours. How many? should start work on these ships 
we don't know we put some arbitrary values number working is our sum product this grid c5 f5 we hit f4 c7 f7 and we double click it and we drag it we receive this and total number operator is summation of all these c5 f 50 so the model is fixed now we are going to solve it we have to make sure the total number of operator is minimum by changing variable c5 f5 we add the constant c5 f5 will be integer number working should be greater than equal number needed and we have a non-negative constant using simple XLP we can solve it that is our result so given this scenario we need at least 100 employees so that's the solution of problem 3 we solve all three problems Thanks for watching.